Let's try to understand what is a spanning set and what set of vectors can be used for as a spanning set. So the question here is, show that the set of vectors 3, 2 and 9, 6 does not span in R2. Now, if we analyze this, these two vectors 3, 2 and 9, 6, so the vectors for us are 3, 2 and 9, 6, what do we notice? We notice that 9, 6 is a scalar multiple of 3, 2. That is 3 times 3, 2 will give us 9, 6. So since this is a scalar multiple, right? So we have scalar multiple. Now since this is a scalar multiple, that means they are collinear, right? Now if the vectors are in the same direction, let us say that means they are in the same direction, right? So let me just sketch this vector for you. So if 3, 2 for example is this vector, right? In that case, 9, 6 will be a vector which is in the same direction but three times the length, right? So it could be kind of, let me just draw like this, I mean, okay, three times the length, right? So as you can see, these two vectors are in the same direction. They are collinear, right? Now, since they are collinear, they could span only the vectors which are in this direction. They cannot span any vector which is in a different direction than these, right? For example, if I have a vector like this, how can I write this vector in terms of these two which are in a different direction altogether, right? So you cannot make a parallelogram with these two so that that becomes a resultant. That is why they cannot be spanned. So that is kind of graphical reasoning. And uh, let's also try to find out if there is an algebraic reasoning to it, right? So let me give you algebraic solution to this. So what are we trying to say here? We are trying to find whether this is a spanning set or not. It can be a spanning set if we have a linear combination which can represent a new vector in a different direction, right? Any vector in the plane, correct? That is the whole idea. So let's see what is the linear combination of these two vectors. So let us a times 3 comma 2 plus b times 9 comma 6 is the linear combination of these two vectors in general. So that is equal to a times 3 is 3a, that is scalar multiplication I am doing at present, 2a plus this is 9b and 6b. It is important to write the steps which you do. You can do scalar multiplication property of vectors. And here let's do the addition property of vectors. So when you add, you get 9a plus 3a plus 9b, right? 3a plus 9b and this is 2a plus 6b. 2a plus 6b. So that's what you get. Now here you see uh, we have a common factor here. 3a plus 9b. So what is common here? Let me take it to the right side and then do it. So we can take 3 common, right? We can take 3 common here. So let's write in a different thing. So if I take 3 common here, I get A plus 3B for the X component. And here I can take 2 common. And I get A plus 3B here. Do you see that? Now, I can take a plus 3b outside as a common factor. So it becomes a plus 3b times the vector 3 comma 2. So basically what do we get? We get a linear combination of our vector 3, 2. So we don't really get vector in any other direction. Whatever combinations you choose, where a and b could be any real numbers, so here we know a and b belongs to set of real numbers. If you put any real numbers here, the resultant vector is in the direction of our vector. Therefore, 
it can only represent vectors in the same direction or opposite but collinear right so that is what it can do it cannot represent any vector in R2 whose direction is same or opposite to this that is why it cannot span do you understand so that is how we prove it since this is a scalar multiple right this is a scalar multiple so it represent a vector collinear to 3 2 so it could be either there or in this direction only those vectors can be spanned with the help of the given set no other vector in R2 and therefore we say that it does not span in R2 I hope that point is absolutely clear with you therefore we can summarize from here that to span what is necessary necessary conditions for spanning are one we should have non-zero vectors second non-collinear so if we have a set of non-zero and non-collinear vectors then they will span in R2 right so we'll see in another video how that'll be interesting thank you and all the best